and welcome to Raflims. This is Farrar Hossain, and today we are going to discuss the Mark Machine Readable Cataloging in Cataloging and Metadata Management series. So we all know Mark. Mark is machine readable cataloging format. It's actually encoding schema. It's actually metadata. It's one of the metadata schemes. So we all know the metadata scheme is actually encode the information to computer to make it readable. So whatever the information we write between the tags and the indicators and delimiter, it will transmit to computer to uh, interpret that information. So to interpret that information, so in cataloging, in mark cataloging, we have mainly the fields. If you see the gray lines, they are actually fields. And we have tags. The tags number is something like the three digit identifier. So you can see the green one, they are tagged. And the indicator and then delimiter and then subfield codes. They are actually the main structure of mark. So the mark is actually providing information to computer to make it readable format and the computer read that but whatever the information we write within the tags number is actually uh, according to some cataloging code it could be RDA it could be uh, ACR2 whatever the cataloging code you are following you write information according to that code so here we have uh, so let me tell you more about mark structure there you can see the gray line one two three four there are four gray lines one is for author the second is for title the third is for the imprint area and the fourth is for the physical description of that particular record so here we have four fields if you can see the gray lines, they are field. So every line is called field. So in mark we have field, but how the computer come to know that this information is about the author or this information is about the title. For example, we can replace this information to 100. So computer will come to know this information is author. But why? Because of tag. Tag is actually three digit identifier to identify that particular information that this information, what is the field about. <clears throat> so we can say a field is like a cataloging area, the content data. So this is one field, the second field, and then we have third field and the fourth field. And the tag is actually a three digit identifier of that particular field. Identify what is in that field. So you come to know the 100, this is for author, and 245 is for title, and 260 is for the uh, imprint area, and this information is for the physical description. For example, if you write the author name, if just an example, if you write stories from Shakespeare in series of 245 in 100, so it will interpret that 100 information could be author. Shakespeare from, I mean, the stories from Shakespeare could be the title. I mean, could be the author name of your record. And then we have indicator. So you can see two indicator here, one and zero, and two indicator, one indicator is here. Normally in mark 210, I mean 21 records, we found the indicator something like slash, <clears throat> backslash, you will find double backslash, and some digit with actually the uh, slash. So the indicator is uh, a one digit code that provides information to the computer about variable field tell computer how to work with that field. so this indicator is very much important 
So you will see the double backslash in the mark 200 card. An indicator actually, the two indicator, one and two, and one indicator. So it actually tells computer how to work with that. I'm sure you are getting my point. If there's any difficulty to understand this structure, you can contact me on my email address. And then we have delimiter. If you see the double plus sign, it's not available in the US keyboards, I mean layout keyboards. But if you see the double plus sign in mark, uh, to one we usually use the dollar sign so the delimiter is actually a conjunction between field and sub so it's actually joint field with this sub there you can see 260 it has one two and three we have three fields i mean sub fields here for example you see the, this is new of is actually one of the sub field and it's actually the location of uh, this publication and then this is actually the publisher and here we have the copyright date of this publisher so we have three fields i mean the sub field here and it's joined by <clears throat> delimiter followed by the sub field code so the delimiter is a dollar or double plus sign that join subfield with a field through subfield code mark star I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay <laughs> so the subfield is actually distributions of field we, are, we come to know the subfield is actually the distribution of field so this field is distributed in two subfield this field is distributed in two again two this field is actually distributed with this and so it's actually the distribution of a field fields within field i mean the fields within field the field code identify content of the uh, field so, so you can see this is actually the sub field code if we write c instead of this so it will indicate that this information is something like this. So here's a mark structure. So let me show you some mark important fields and a sample mark to one record. So we can see every field is actually starting after an E equal sign. So you can see this. There we have one mark record. And every field is actually starting after an E equal sign. Then we have uh, the tag number, and after tag number, we have two indicators, and then delimiters and subfield. Anyhow, so let's skip for the leader number for now. And uh, I'll sh when we come to practical side, I'll show you what is actually leader number and how it's working. So, after leader number, we have uh, 0, 0, 001, and there is no indicator, delimiter, and subfield code. Because after 0, 0, 001 to 0, 0, 009, we do not have to follow indicators and delimiters. So, 0, 0, 001 is actually for control number. And we can use this control number as accession number if we want to, but it's actually for control number. Then we have ISBN number 0 to 0. In Mark, we use 0 to 0 for our ISBN number. So you can see it's a one indicator, then two indicator, and then dollar sign, and then we have the field code, and then the ISBN. This is actually the ISBN number. So here we have ISBN number. And 050 is for LC call number. If you are following Library of Congress classification scheme, so you have to follow 050. And then we have double space. And then we have double indicators. And the dollar sign is delimiter and subfield code. So you can see this is actually the main subject RB and then we have 
uh, subdivision of that subject and then we have uh, delimiter then we have the subfield code this is actually e dot e57 is actually the uh, cutter so you can use cutter like this or if you are using a author mask so you can use this and then we have uh, here of publication so if you are using for example ddc classification or dv classification so you can write information like uh, with just an example this is not the correct number so you can write ex um, information something like this or you can follow cutter as well this is just an example i'm not actually writing this so 100 and then one indicator and then second indicator and then delimiter and then subfield code so there you can see i actually write the author name as it is so i do not convert this name or example you can write this this is just an example if you are following just a um, ACR2 standard, so you can write information like this. Or the vice versa, as you could. And then we have 245. 245 is for title. You can see this is for title. One indicator, second indicator, delimiter, and subfield code. And then we have the title title of the book and then we have imprint area 260 in rda we have different imprint area it's not 260 so it's actually double indicator and then we have delimiter then we have uh, subfield code china and then we have this is actually a place of publication i mean you can write any it's just an example it's not actually the correct information this is just an example you can write this let me write usually we write okay. and then indicator subfield code and we have uh, publisher name elsewhere then we have this 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 is for copyright date <clears throat> 500 is for actually note area there's a note includes bibliographic and index then we have subject 650 is for one subject and we can write we can write like this if we are following some subject heading so we can write like this or we are writing separate subjects so we can follow like this and then this is actually 700 is actually for co-author I'm, I'm speaking in actually in easy language to make it uh, understandable for you people actually so 700 is actually for co-author and you can see the 942 and 952 they are actually for the item information so we as i said in in my last video maybe in last video or maybe before that in there are two layers of cataloging in any integrated library system one is cataloging of record and then we also catalog some uh, then we also catalog the copy number, the accession number, the item details actually. For so item details, we have 942. So item type, you, there you have to indicate the item type. What is item type? So we have to write the code actually. For example, BK is a code for book. So we can write its book like this. Or if there are any other code, for example, CD. So this is actually the code. The code what we do we prepare code within that integrated library system and we write the code 
as it is. Whatever the code you have developed in your integrated library system, you have provided 952. And then you can see this is actually a Koha based uh, system. It's 952 for Koha we used. Then we have two indicators. So you can see this is dollar sign is actually for, uh, I mean, this is actually delimiter and then subfield code. A is for main. This is actually main library. I mean, the main is actually the code of your library. And then B is again the code of your library. Uh, permanent library and the current library. This is actually like this. A is for permanent library in Koha and B is for current library. And then P is for barcodes. So you can write like, an, like this. And O is for call number. To so display call number uh, among the journal power. So this is actually how you work with mark uh, and they are actually the important mark tools. so that's all for today in the next video we'll talk about the rda and we'll also discuss what is the difference between rda and aacr2 and then we have uh, hands-on sessions i mean we have lots of tools to practice on mark we have lots of tools to practice on rda so i'll let you know in the next video and uh, thank you very much. You are watching Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. Goodbye.